Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, the Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, um, and I'm uh, talking with you today to call your attention to what I think is a very interesting article in this month's AJM. Um, it's from Ayala et al. It's a group at McGill, including a number of epidemiology folks, um, who again looked at a very large database um, of men with uh, uh, prostatic hypertrophy. Of course, we all know this is almost universal in older men, causes a delayed time to urination and hesitancy and so forth. And so there's a number of drugs that are used to help with this. Uh, one class of drugs are alpha blockers. Um, but another class actually blocks the uh, conversion of testosterone to a number of its breakdown products and therefore decreases blood levels of, of the uh, uh, androgenic steroids. And then the, the gland shrinks a little bit because it's not being stimulated. These are five alpha reductase inhibitors. Well, um, there's some concern about lowering testosterone levels in elderly male because there's been some population studies that suggested that puts them, these individuals at increased risk for cardiovascular events, heart attacks, heart failure, and so forth. So they looked at this large database, and it was very reassuring to discover that there was no increased incidence of these cardiovascular events. So again, um, pointing to the fact that these drugs are safe um, and, uh, and uh, are, of course, widely used. Uh, Finisteroid is the, um, is the name of uh, the most commonly used one. Um, and they're safe, and uh, uh, that's very reassuring. So often we find out after a drug's been on the market for a while, oh, wait a minute, that was, that was not what we were hoping for. Uh, but in this case, um, there's good results, and, and uh, the drug is safe to use um, in older men with benign prostatic hypertrophy to help shrink the prostate and improve uh, their urination. Look forward to talking with you next month. Stay in touch with us through all of our social media uh, venues.